people always ask me why the devilish thing and my answer is that I'm from Germany, I grew up with fairy tales, I'm not the princess type and who wouldn't like a handsome naughty devil? Welcome to my home and my devilish little things museum. My name is Marion. My collection is about 20 years of collecting whimsical novelty things and the devilish theme. And I call it devilish because I'm not really specific devil or Satan, but more like playful little devils inspired by fairy tales and folk tales from Europe. This is a beautiful building, original built in around 1911, and the function was a little community church. The previous owners renovated the house and made it into a living space. And then um, three years ago, just suddenly this building found me. I saw a random listing. Behind us is a room that's the book and magic room. And you can find artwork from the old magician shows, um, a lot of fairy tale books from Europe. Downstairs, I have my Devil's Lounge, a really cool kind of tiki bar. So I would always go to antique shows and look for antique beaded purses. And there was a person that had ceramic pieces that called Devils and Cards. And I looked at them and it was love on first sight. And since that day, I just kind of started, you know, keeping an eye out for those things. And then 20 years later, here we are. I'm really specific. I don't want anything that you can buy in a random mall. Really, like, the older, the better. The more interesting, the more unusual, the better. This is from 1800s, from France. And it came from a hotel, and it's an old hotel bell. Late 1700s, early 1800s. So when you get ready to smoke with your friends, they all get to see the devil head and wonder why you have a smile on your face because you get to stick the stem in your mouth. I offered uh, regular tours. They take around an hour. I also offer full cater tea parties. And of course, we have the best deviled eggs. I just find, you know, the devil is kind of a little bit the underdog. He's really kind of misunderstood. And I think that maybe appeals. I really love just bringing a little bit of my culture over here. You know, bringing the folk tales and fairy tales and the Krampus and all those things over here. And I have people come for visits that we're not really quite sure because they are religious types. They weren't really sure how they feel about it. But I guarantee you, everybody has left with a smile on their face.